Hi, my name's Amanda, an A&E paramedic and director of Adopt an AD, and today I'm going to talk to you about how we protect ourselves and others from the coronavirus. The coronavirus has brought some uncertainty on how to behave, whether outside or within your homes. So here are a few tips to help you all get through this tough and challenging time. Firstly, washing your hands frequently with soap and water for 20 to 30 seconds each time and use hand sanitizer gel in between will help stop the spread of germs. When coughing and sneezing, try to catch it within a disposable tissue and bin the tissue. If you do not have a tissue available, cough and sneeze into the inside of your elbow. Try to avoid touching your eyes, your nose and mouth with unwashed hands at all times. This is how the virus enters our system, so we need to be mindful of this at all times. Self-isolation is another routine to follow if you have displayed any symptoms. Different countries have different rules, but within the UK the rules are if you live alone and develop a new continuous cough or a high temperature, it is recommended to stay at home for seven days after symptoms began. If you live with others, everyone in the household must stay at home and not leave for 14 days. Studies have shown that people can be asymptomatic for an average period of five days, so it is vital that everyone isolates. The infection can spread from person to person in shared houses and if anyone else starts showing symptoms whilst in isolation, they must stay at home for seven days from the moment their own symptoms start, regardless of how many days isolation they have already done in the 14 day period. Another rule that has been enforced recently is social and physical distancing. The entire UK government has asked everyone to distance themselves from others by two metres minimum if they need to go out for essential food shopping. They've asked everyone to avoid meeting with friends and family who don't live with them. If you require the GP or any other essential service to use the phone, internet or social media platforms if possible. All these precautions are in an attempt to reduce the spread of the virus and keep you and your family, friends and neighbours safe. I've recently had colleagues rushed into hospital and placed on ventilators in ICU through doing their jobs on the front line with the Scottish Ambulance Service and can only hope when the worst comes that people start to take this pandemic seriously and stay home and away from others. Just because they are asymptomatic, it doesn't mean anyone else around them will be. Check with your local medical authorities for specific advice that may be applied in your area. Please click below on the links and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out our frequently asked questions or alternatively contact us directly at www.adoptanaed.co.uk and we'll be happy to assist you in any way we can. On behalf of Adopt an AED, adopt, register, respond.